I'm Coyote Peterson. Do you have any idea what that is? If not, stick around, because I'm about to tell you. Costa Rica is home to many incredible animals. However, sometimes these animals are either injured or displaced from their homes and can no longer live in the wild. If they are fortunate enough to be found by a loving human, there's a good chance they will be taken to the Altura's Wildlife Sanctuary. Home to nearly 50 permanent residents, this animal safe haven is located in the coastal town of Dominical. And while the sanctuary's number one goal is to rehabilitate and release animals back into the wild, sometimes their disabilities won't allow them to survive on their own. So they find refuge and care amidst the incredible staff and natural rainforest setting. Today I will be getting to spend some quality time with one of their newest residents. I hope you're ready, because this little creature is unlike anything you've seen before. So right now, I am having a staring contest with the Mexican Harry Dwarf Porcupine. I'm totally gonna win. Oh, no, I blinked. You beat me. This is my little buddy named Bud, and he is a baby tree porcupine, and he is about as adorable as it gets. Now, we know that I've worked with porcupines in the past. I think we all remember what happened last time. Uh, I love how I get myself into these things. Ooh, yep, there we go. That's a handful of quills. Ooh. Yeah, a handful of quills. This guy is also covered in quills, but what I'm not gonna do today is get quilled by this adorable little rodent. Now, Bud, let me see if I can give him some avocado. This is his absolute favorite. Is an arboreal species, which means that he sticks to the trees. He's also nocturnal, which means that he's out at night. And right now we're getting close to sunset and Bud is just starting to wake up to get active. And using this food, I obviously have his attention. Is it good? Are you gonna eat it? Or am I gonna eat it? Let's see if I take it away and try it. Uh... Hey, save some for me, that's my favorite food too. Is it your favorite food? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, bud. You eat this so that Mark can't have any. <laughs> now this is, this is such a unique animal. And bud is a baby. So he will grow to be quite a bit bigger. They can grow to be about five and a half pounds, not as big as the North American porcupine. But this is the one species of porcupine that is very common here in Costa Rica. Now oftentimes it's pretty difficult to present an animal that's walking around, but it can also be difficult to present an animal that's just completely standing still. We want to show you just how Bud moves, so I'm going to borrow your dinner. Can I take this? And let's see if we can get Bud to come out here on this log. Come on, buddy. Bud, look what Coyote has. It's a peanut. Oh, peanut butter is good. I'm gonna eat this peanut if you aren't gonna eat it. I think he wants me to actually get the peanut out of the shell. This is kind of like uh, when Elliot was trying to get E.T. out of the forest. Gotta make a trail of peanuts in this case. Come up here, look what I've got. One of the most interesting features, come over here, look at that tail. Have you ever seen a porcupine with a long tail like that? That is a prehensile tail which allows this porcupine to be up in the treetops and he can actually wrap this around a branch and hang upside down if he's eating food. Oh, and now he found the peanut. This is great, so you're getting kind of the full look at this animal. And it's nice working with a porcupine of this size. It's a little easier for me to get right up close without him getting too scared. And let's look at the fur. You see that real dark in coloration? That's what you'll get with this species. And underneath these guard hairs, a bunch of quills. Bud, do you think it would be okay if we show everybody at home your quills? I'm gonna take that as a yes. All right, watch this. Okay, I'm just gonna part this hair back very gently. Take a look at that. Can you see in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what those are? Those are quills. And as we know, quills are nothing more than modified hairs. But you may be saying to yourself, Coyote, how are you touching a porcupine and it's not shooting its quills out at you? Well, that's a misconception because porcupines can't actually shoot their quills. Let's say a predator comes into the environment, it actually needs to get close to this porcupine's rump, disturb these guard hairs, so if I were to put my nose in there and scare the porcupine, it would thrust its rump up in the air 
and that's when you end up with a snout full of quills. And the bad thing about these quills is that they have reverse barbs. Those get into your snout or your hand and they dig deeper and deeper and deeper over time. So what I'm not going to do today is get quilled by this little porcupine. Ooh, here's another peanut. Round two. Oh, just kidding. That's for you, buddy. It's amazing to watch them eat, to see how his claws and his hands just grip that peanut. And you would think that he would just, you know, shove the whole thing into his mouth like a squirrel, but he's just very intricately chipping off piece after piece. Look at that nose. Look at all of those whiskers. Little sensory whiskers. And he uses those to feel around looking for food. Now, Bud is a permanent resident here at the El Torres Wildlife Sanctuary. He was hit by a car when he was really, really little, and he sustained some damages that will no longer allow him to survive in the wild. So he's gonna live his life here in all sorts of comfort, including the ability to have peanuts every single day, which sounds like a pretty good thing, doesn't it? You're well taken care of here, and I can see that you're very happy and very healthy. Makes me feel good in my heart. How do you feel about it? I, I totally understand. Do you want the rest of this peanut? Here you go. Peanuts. Yum, 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 yum. Every animal is its own unique being, and many of them have incredible personalities. I think it's fair to say that Bud was definitely running the show, and he is certainly one porcupine that I will never forget. Well, how excellent was this? Getting to spend the evening with the Mexican hairy dwarf porcupine. You know something, Bud? You and I are buddies. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. The Alturas Wildlife Sanctuary is helping to rehabilitate new animals every single day. The hardworking staff never takes a day off, and to care for all of these temporary and permanent residents, they need our help. And even a little bit can go a long ways. If you would like to donate or become a part of their volunteer team, make sure to visit their website alturaswildlifesanctuary.org Bud was awesome, there's no question about that. But did you get the chance to see me feed Cookie and Caramel, the team of super cute sloths? If not, make sure to go back and watch that episode. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. This is absolutely the coolest thing I've ever done, feeding both a two-toed and a three-toed sloth at the same time.